Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to talk about the real-life differences between the 4680 Model Y Standard Range and the Long Range. So for almost the last month, Tesla's been delivering the Standard Range Model Ys with the 4680 battery out of Giga, Texas, and Austin. Um, and really, it's been kind of interesting. Uh, the talks and discussions on the Reddit pages, the Facebook pages, and other blogs, uh, just about people, you know, claiming that, you know, range is king and that um, they could never go with the Standard Range and that 280 miles is not long enough um, and, you know, it's a waste of money. It's, I mean, it's very interesting uh, just to kind of see how uh, worked up people get on the topic. Um, so I thought it'd be helpful just to kind of add to the discussion to, to go ahead and put out two real world scenarios of one driving from Dallas to Destin, Florida, which a lot of people do from Texas. Uh, we go out to, to Florida because it's the beautiful beaches. Um, or two, going the opposite direction, going from Dallas to San Diego. So what I want to do is I want to look at the real world applications and compare how the two different models the standard range 4680 versus the long range would perform in these scenarios. So the source for my data, um, I'm gonna have two different sources. Uh, one will be the Tesla website. So the cool thing is, if you don't know, on the Tesla website, you can go to the charging uh, section of the page. And if you click plan a trip, you can actually put in the parameters for your trip and you can do the same thing. Uh, the other data source is gonna be a beta route planner. So it's a very popular app, uh, not just for Teslas, but for all, all the EVs. Um, they have a lot of free stuff on the website, but you can also pay for a premium subscription. So using the Tesla website for the trip from Dallas to Destin, uh, going in the 4680 Model Y, which is what I have right here, um, the rated range is 280. Um, the actual Tesla website says it's going to take you 14 hours and 18 minutes to get there, with a total of 702 miles and four stops. So very interesting um, how Tesla's own website, they basically, if you look at the, the charging stats and I'll have in the screenshot, you can kind of see, they basically have you pretty much charging up to like 80% then going to the next location, charging up to 80% then going to the next location. Um, versus on a better route planner, uh, same trip, same vehicle, it, it has it at 13 hours and 16 minutes. It's a little bit different um, route. Um, and what it does is it actually has you stopping uh, two more times for a total of six times. Uh, but basically what a better route planner has you doing is basically really optimizing the charge curve. So the best charging is gonna be uh, you know, anywhere from like zero to like 60 up to 70, right? Uh, once you get you know past 70%, your charging speed is gonna taper down. So a little bit different than what the what site has you do. A better route planner basically has you, you know, once the charging kind of comes down, basically, you know, unplug and go to the next one. Now let's compare this to the long range uh, Model Y. So again, the long range is rated for 330 miles. Uh, and that trip with the long range would be 14 hours and seven minutes based off of the Tesla website. So off of that website, um, I mean, you're, you're basically saving 11 minutes, same 702 miles, same four stops. So it's a very interesting, right? So based off of Tesla's own website, if you have the 4680 standard range, or if you have the long range, the difference from going from Dallas to Destin, Florida is 11 minutes. So, I mean, that's very interesting, right? And it really makes you wonder, right? Like, if you, I mean, if you're price locked in at a cheaper price, yeah, for sure, go get the, the longer range. Um, you are gonna be bypassing, you know, the potential upgrades and, you know, and abilities of the 4680 battery, which are fully not known right now, right? So it's all theoretical, but you're gonna bypass that. And, and in the real world, you're gonna save yourself 11 minutes on a road trip. Uh, now, looking at a better route planner, the same trip in the long range would be 13 hours and five minutes. Um, again, six stops. Um, so that one's even inter more interesting, right? Because I mean, that one you're only saving, again, 11 minutes. Um, so it's interesting, one, to kind of see how Tesla's website ha has you, you know, navigating and their thought process on navigating and the how does the algorithms have it going versus a better route planner. Uh, but you can see they both put you in the same ballpark. Uh, and the difference, at least going from, you know, Texas to Florida, isn't, isn't much, right? Um, so again, what are, you, what, are you, what are you paying for and what are you getting? Um, I'll, you have to make that decision, but I definitely wanna put that information out there so you guys can digest it. All right, and for the next scenario, this scenario we're gonna go from Dallas all the way to San Diego. 
All right, so going from Dallas to San Diego with the standard range uh, 4680 Model Y would be a total of, according to Tesla's website, eight stops, 27 hours, 1,367 miles. So really long trip, but again, eight stops. Um, now to, to flip that on Tesla's website, if you were to do that in the long range, um, again, eight stops. Uh, this one, it says about 26 hours. So it looks, looks like you're going to save an hour, but it's kind of interesting because most likely you're going to spend a night somewhere. So I think that hour gets kind of negated by you spending the night somewhere. But again, it says nine stops and 1,367 miles. So again, not much of a difference, especially if you spend the night. Uh, if you're going, if you're driving past 12 hours in a stretch, um, to like 27 hours, then maybe you might see a bigger difference the longer you go. Um, but again, we all have limitations being human beings, um, but some people can push it. So yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's real world, uh, very, very interesting. Now let's look at the same trip on a better route planner. So off of a better route planner, again, it does a little bit different algorithm. It basically has you, you know, only maximize the charge then go to the next location. Uh, so with the 4680 on a better route planner, it's basically saying uh, 24 hours. This is 23 hours and 58 minutes. Let's say 24 hours, right? Uh, so it actually it's showing three hours shorter than on the Tesla website. Because, but again, we're just maximizing the charge curve and going on to the next location. Um, but it does have you stopping 12 times. So again, while the Tesla app has you, you know, only stopping eight to nine times, a bit root planner is saying, hey, let's stop more, more often, but have shorter stops. Um, and then going to the same scenario, but with the long range, uh, that one goes from 24 hours down to 23 hours and 12 minutes. Uh, but again, 12 stops, but once again, like we said before, uh, the limitations of the human body and how far you can really drive. Um, so yeah, very, very, it's very interesting um, when you start factoring in the real world, world applications. So not just like the like the petty arguments that take place in the message boards on Reddit and Facebook. Uh, you know, people seem to. I think uh, it's a natural human instincts. I think like uh, they'll talk about like tribalism and people like to be in tribes for whatever reason. So so there's one tribe that's like. Hey, we're the long range tribe. And then there's the other tribe that's, Hey, we're the 4680 tribe. I think we have to look at stuff just purely based off of the facts and, you know, let the facts speak for themselves. So again, we have to make our own decisions, but those are the, those are the facts. And we're going to lay those out. Um, so now let's talk about if you were to order a model Y today. So all the people that already have them locked in a lower price, that's good for you. You did great but let's give some advice for the folks who are you know, looking to order one today and what the differences are. Um, so if you wanted to order a long range today, basic long range with no upgrades, uh, you're looking at 65,990 and an estimated delivery date of April through July of 2023. So basically uh, pretty much you're a year out if you wanna get a long range Model Y today. Versus if you want to go with a standard range, um, you can pretty much get it, you know, pretty quick. Uh, if you right now, if you keep going on the website and you look for existing inventory, uh, you basically can get lucky and you can get a standard range. Um, you'll see lots of information out there about that. Um, and you can pretty much get it, you know, anywhere from a week to from now until, you know, maybe a month out. But you can pretty much get a standard range pretty, pretty quickly. So I, so the real question is everyone has to kind of make for their, their own decision is, you know, is it worth waiting a year to get a long range or is it better to, you know, get the standard range today, have the vehicle today, enjoy it over the next year. Um, and then, I mean, who knows what's going to happen, right? Like I truly believe that once the inventory balances out and Tesla isn't worried about cannibalizing their own, uh, you know, business, right? You can't have everyone rush for the new thing until you have enough, you know, new things, you know, to to suffice. Otherwise, they'd be, you know, killing their own business, right? So again, they're selling this vehicle for basically six thousand dollars cheaper than the long range. Um, on paper, it's a fifty mile difference, right? Uh, in reality, we all know that going highway speeds, a fifty mile difference is really like twenty five miles, if we're if we're being honest, right? So like again, long range rated. 330 miles versus standard range 279 miles let's say 280 miles 
Um, so that's like perfect real world. Everything is, you know, perfect sunny weather scenario. That's 50 miles rated range. The reality is on the highway, the difference is really going to be like 20 to 25 mile difference. So again, those are just the facts. You're going to make your own decisions on those facts. But again, non-emotional, just talking about what we know as factual. Well, everyone, thank you for watching this quick video again. Hopefully this helped for anyone who's out there who's kind of debating on the 4680 Model Y or the, um, the existing long range Model Y that's out there. Um, it's all about real world. It's not about the empirical arguments. It's about, hey, what does this look like for me and my family in, in the real world, right? You know, whether it's like going to work, does it make a difference going to work or back? Probably not. Um, on road trips, does it make a difference? I mean, we just went through the numbers, so you can kind of see if it's a 12-hour road trip or a 27-hour road trip. Um, the difference isn't huge. So you guys can take that information and do with it what you want, but those are just the facts. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Um, if it was, please hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Or if you want me to do any more videos, uh, leave those below too. I love suggestions for videos. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the sub button. Thanks a lot and have a great day.